Hello and welcome to another episode of the Theatre Professor Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Chikimak II and I am the Theatre Professor and you are joining us for another one of our Vidcasts that is going to take a look at an iPad app, uh, an art iPad app, an iPad art app, an app of iPad artiness. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, it all just kind of mixes together tonight. I'm really excited because tonight we're going to be looking at some new apps that have just recently come out from Adobe. Well, we're going to start with one app, and then maybe we'll move on to that as the weeks come by. But um, but I myself have Adobe Creative Cloud, and so the idea that Adobe is finally getting with the game and decided to bring apps out that are uh, native to the iPad rather than, you know, uh, I mean, they had a couple, but they just weren't that very they weren't that good. And so this is kind of a step up in what they're creating. So I'm really excited to share with you one of those apps today. Before we move any further, let me, like always, uh, do a little bit of of self promotion and say if you w- enjoy what you're seeing here, stop by the theaterprofessor.com. Join our free bronze membership level. You'll be able to get videos early. You'll get brushes that I create uh, for different apps and art programs, and um, it's it's a way to for me to be able to share uh, share things with those of you that continue to come back week after week and watch my videos or read the blog or listen to my podcast. So I want to say thank you, Heartfelt, as always, for you guys uh, enjoying what I'm able to provide you, and um, I hope that you keep coming back week in and week out. All right, let's look at this. I noticed one thing on last week's uh, last week's video is that I kept holding my iPad up in front of my picture. I'm not going to do well. I'm going to try not to do that this week. So I do have my iPad and I've got a little different setup, which is kind of nice. As you can see, I, I, this here is a wind screen for my microphone. It's a new setup that I had for my my art rage tutorial but not for my ipad tutorials last week what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at adobe sketch and it's right there in the middle top middle my screen yes yes i have six emails down there i'll get to them soon enough give me time let's go ahead and open up adobe sketch now uh i'm i'm not sure i've got to go back and look i have the adobe creative cloud suite and so I know that I get these. I don't know if there's a separate price. Uh, I guess I could check real quick. I'm not going to do that because it's more about showing you a little bit about what it can do. But um, but that's something that you want to check out. If you've got the Adobe Creative Cloud, then then I, I'm, I'm near positive that you just get it because that's how I got mine. I just signed in and it was like, yes, you get this. Enjoy it. And I said, oh, okay. And I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, we open up to this first page, and off to the right here, we have some community sketches, which are powered by Behance. I don't use Behance, but if anybody does, these are powered by them. And you can see, you can, you know, you can scroll through and look at people's different work. It's kind of cool. Let's come over here. This is the project, and we're going to start here. Uh, as you can see, we have project, and uh, in it, it's got five sketches. You can, if you wanted to. Share this on Behance, Facebook, or Twitter. We're not going to do that. You can add a page. We're not going to do that. You can trash a page. We're not going to do that. Or you can work on the page that's currently available. So if I clicked that, oh, oh no, that's so you can move things around. Okay, or and edit things. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're gonna. We're just gonna. Oh, we're gonna get out of that. What we're gonna do is, like I said, this has five sheets. The first one I've drawn on. I'm gonna open up the second sheet here, and all I did is, you scroll down and you tap with your finger, your stylus, on an open square. Dun dun dun, and it opens up a page. And here we have our page. Um, it's very very stark, which I like. You know, when I'm trying to do some sketching or something, I like my pages to be stark. I like to be able to really focus on what I'm drawing rather than the abundance of, uh, of, of possible tools and uh, categories. So for quick sketches, I'm looking for an app that, that is limited. Now when I'm trying to do a full art piece, that's when I'm looking for a more fully featured app. But uh, this is more like a, a very basic sketch app. Let's go through the tools up top. The first one is a pencil. You can see here, very pencil-like. Do do do. I that is my like my my squiggle. I do every time I try a new tool is foo 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 foo. The second one is like more like a ballpoint pen. You can see like if I signed my name, Terry. 
my cursive is atrocious. Don't judge. That's a it's, that's supposed to be an A. Terry Dana Jakimiak, except it looks like Dand Jakimiak the second. Okay, um, we have, of course, we have a. I'm gonna actually the third one's kind of like a. Um, you see, it's it's an inky type pen that has a bit of translucency to it. The fourth one, very similar, but it's square shaped. The fifth one is, I don't, know, I don't, you don't even know how to describe that. It's, it's scriggly or scraggly, scraggly, kind of a textured brush. The next one is our eraser. And then our final one is you get to pick your colors. Now, if you double click on that, that one that was kind of scraggly, you can actually switch through to different, I believe that's the spray that I've got. If we dropped it down to ink, you get something different. Okay. One of the things that you'll notice is that, oh, and the, yeah, you've got your library too. and this. This is, this goes with another app, but we're not going to talk about that app right now. We're focused on one, so we're just on app brushes, okay? Um, that is the only one that I found that you can double click on. I mean, obviously the color pops up, but nothing else does. And if you look at, oh, if you hit the double arrows in the top right, it actually clears those out of the way. You Okay, so... see the circle within a circle within a circle when you hit that you actually get some tools and each time you tap it you get different tools so this is a straight line tool oh, let me go back to it this is a straight line tool and i'm erasing in a straight line let's grab a pen this will draw and you can turn it and draw again and then if you tap one of the two circles, it'll change it. So now I'm in a triangle shape. You tap it again. Let's rotate it up here. And you have a square shape. Tap it again. Oops. And you have a circle shape. And tap it again. You go back to the line shape. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to turn that off for now. The the one that looks like a pencil, it connects to um, the the Adobe Pen, and I don't know the name of it because I honestly haven't done research on it. But you can connect it if you have it. It, it uh, there's also it comes with like this little slide rule. It's actually pretty interesting, but I do not have it. See, I could I don't I don't have it. I have the Hex Three Jaja, and as you can see, it'll just sit here and I'm holding it against it, and it'll say keep holding indefinitely. The next one is an image you can actually add from your camera roll, your camera, your files, or from the marketplace. We're not going to do any of that right now. So we're going to click done. And then again, you can get feedback. You can save it as a PSD, which that's really nice. So if you already do work in Photoshop, this is a great way to um, do a sketch on your iPad and then be able to bring it into Photoshop because it does save it as a PSD. You can send it directly to Photoshop. You can send it to Illustrator. And oops, if we click if we click share, you can share it to those different places. Now, some of the things that I'm not keen about so far or at least that I haven't been able to find, like one of the things I would love to be able to do is be able to increase the size of my eraser and I have yet to find a way to increase it any bigger than this right here and this as you can see is obnoxious because I sit here and I'm like doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. and what I really want to do is use a three finger or a two finger and I've tried I've tried multi-touch oh. oh I found the undo at least okay so a two finger swipe to the left is undo. A two finger swipe to the right 
is redo. So I guess if you really wanted to, if you didn't like how something turned out, you could just sit there and what I'm doing is I'm just doing a lot of swipes to the left to make everything disappear. And it's <laughs> do 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 here I swipe, do 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 here I swipe, I'm almost done with all my swiping now. This is the song that swipes for ever. There we go. Okay, and then you're back to the beginning. Uh, and again, if you go back the other way, you go that. Um, it seems like up and down doesn't seem to do anything with two fingers. Three fingers. Moves your sheet around. Ooh. Actually, two fingers. I lied. Okay, three fingers, though, allows you to very quickly see the bar up top. I'm holding three fingers down and moving back and forth. So you can quickly do full undos. Well, it doesn't look like it'll go all the way through, but it does quite a few. And f four fingers doesn't do anything, in case you were curious. And then if you hold two fingers down, you can move it around. You can pinch and spread your fingers to zoom in and out. But still, even with all that, I can't find a way to increase the size of your pen or your pencil unless you zoom in. And, you know, we do two, let's do two. This guy's a funny guy. He's not very happy. <laughs> I don't even know his name. And again, we can change the color. I just haven't yet. So here, we'll give him a little bit of blue over top. But this could, it could very well be used as a um, a sketching program and then you come out and one of the problems I found with this like so about sketch if we go into about sketch it doesn't like you can view the tutorials there's undo redo right swiping you can do history scrubbing which is the three fingers you can pan around using brushes you tap the brush to select it right but what it doesn't tell you is how to increase the size of the brush. And so I really do believe that there's no way to increase the size of the brush, unfortunately. And I think that's something that Adobe is going to want to go back and look at. Because it's specifically for the eraser. Like I like to, or or the ability to, I guess, I guess you could do the, the scrub, the, what's it, what are they calling it? History scrubbing and you could scrub all the way back. But, like, if you just wanted to erase a large area, it's going to take you a long time with the um, with the size brush they have. Oh, I don't care about feedback. Let's see, switching shapes. I showed you how to do that. Using brushes, I showed you how to do that. And then the pan around. Okay. And that's all they have for tutorials. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I apologize for that. Now, again, this is still, and, and again, this is linked to my account right now. You do get 20 gigs of storage, so that's kind of nice. But I just wish they would have given us a little more in the ability to control our brushes. Uh, let me get out of here. Let's come in here. You know, you can, and, and you can't rotate the sheet either, which I always like the ability to rotate um, things. But you can see, it, I mean, the brushes are pretty decent. I'm not, I'm not going to complain too much about that. It's just how much work you're going to have to do. They don't have layers, which kind of stinks. Because you know me in layers. I love layers. They're fun. You're, you're just, you're able to do so much with layers. Now, again, this one is called... 
Adobe Sketch. I'm going to close that because there is a second one called Adobe Line that is very similar and has actually very similar tools and could be another possibility. Let me um, let me do a new project completely. Again, sets up in the five drawing space. That's fine. And I believe like if you add a, add a page, you can... Now we're up to six drawings. Ooh, got a little bit of feedback in there. Don't know what's going on. There we go. I moved my cell phone. Probably my cell phone. So let's open up one of these pages. And you'll see at the bottom, now our our different tools have labels. 2H, HB, a couple of sized pens, a brush, a marker. And you can choose each of them. But again, it doesn't look like you can control the size. You can again, camera roll, camera, my files, mark it. There are your color themes. Now this one you can actually add grids to. So let's add a two point perspective grid. Okay. Now the one thing is, is that box, as you can see, disappeared. And when you draw, it doesn't stay on the grid. Okay, it's not like some of the programs where when the grid's in place, you're stuck to the grid. You're not stuck to the grid here. So you can draw however you want. Um, let's look at what other grids they have. There's also graph, isometric, and axometric. We'll just go to the graph, and you can even change on the graph the grid spacing. We're going to go to 40 points. Okay. Click OK. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually play tic-tac-toe. Look at that. I won against myself. Yes! Okay. Um, again, it has a marker. has a brush. has two size pens. has an HB pencil. And has a 2H pencil. Okay. Um, again, up here, you can clear the page. So all you're doing is drawing. You can connect your... Um, oops. You can connect your your hold pen to connect. Again, I don't have it. You again have your ruler here, which changes every time you tap it. Okay. But this one also has shapes. Things like French curves. So let's grab the French curves. So I'm clicked on French curve here, and then if I uh, click on all the circle within a circle within a circle, now I have French curves that I can play with. And let me grab the pen there. And it will follow it all the way around. And if I move it, I could do it again. And again. And again. OK, so that's uh, that's and if again, if you tap these, it changes to different French curves. Let me um. One of the things I wish it had is clear page. So I'm going to just come out here, trash that page. Nope. Oh, there's no way to trash just a page. So I'll grab a new page. Come in here. Um, you can get ellipses, rectangles, triangles, polygons. And then there's some other stamp packs in here. So one of the ones I was looking at, like user interface. So if, if, if you do user interface at all, I'm clicked on it. I click this. I'm going to bring this over here. And you can see different buttons. And if you tap it, oops, no, if you. Oh, bugger. Hold on. Hold your horses. I need to erase that. Oh, and this racer is even smaller than the last. Okay, let's see. I know there's a way. Let me see. That. Because I've done it all. Oops. Well, I thought it was. A, I hit it twice, but. Yes, it is. If you double tap. 
the icon and notice it even gives you the ability to line it up. So this is evenly spacing it right now. And I can keep coming. And I believe if we do that with, oh, so let's go to comics. Let's see what comics gives us. Oh, that's right. So. But there you go. So it, you know, it's a cool little thing. It does, uh, does some pretty nifty, nifty things with these shapes. And I think that's the advantage of this one over the other one, which again, this one's called line. The previous one was called sketch. There we go. I got a nice skater. Look at him. Let me change to the thinner pencil or pen. There we go. That looks pretty cool. He's all like, yo, dog, I'm skating. There's sofas. So say you want to do a sofa. Oh, that's a weird one. Interesting. There we go. And my guess is we'll see more of these as they come out, more stamp packs. Um, if you use something like the triangle, you can adjust it, see? And there we go, we got a triangle. Then you can change the color. Okay, now I'm just messing, you know. Starting to draw. Come in here and you can now you can fill it in if you want. And what I would do, like I always do, I overfill and then I come back in a race. But again, the problem with this is when you come back in a race, you're eraser is so small and there is no way to make it bigger that it drives me crazy because I'm crazy sometimes I just want to erase a bunch of stuff so the hope is is that Adobe at some point in the future comes in and decides okay we need to adjust this because let's see what their tutorials are I bet they're almost the exact same tutorials. There's your undo, redo, history scrub, pan around, grids, drawing shapes, more shapes, connect pen, set up ink, pen tip menu. You can publish projects, send to Illustrator, save to camera roll. Yeah, so it's a, it's the same sort of thing. I do think that in time, both of these programs will get better. You know, these are these are Adobe's early early starting but you know for quick sketching you know this and again you can come in here oops three finger there we go and you can go back a couple there we go you know as a quick sketching tool to get your ideas out I think that's where the strength lies I don't think it's meant to be a finished type product. And then you come in here, maybe grab your lips. Turn it on. Move your lips around. Whew. My ellipse of awesome. And now I'll put an ellipse inside, an ellipse inside, an ellipse. There we go. And if I if I remember correctly, if you go back into the basic shapes, you can make it bigger and smaller so you can do a circle inside a circle inside a circle which you know some people like to be able to do there's another circle and a square inside of a circle all right 
So these, again, these are two programs that are both interesting and I do believe will be useful, especially for, for me, you know, when I'm doing scene designer thumbnail sketches, like I'm about to come up on my, uh, my newest show, which is uh, a collection of of short plays written by one of our faculty members here, which I'm really excited about. If you've never got a chance to work on a fairly new material, all of these pieces have been performed once before at festivals. If you haven't had a chance to work on fairly new festivals, there's a certain sense of excitement that comes with it, knowing that it hasn't been produced a billion times and that your audiences are getting a chance to see something that's fairly new and fairly fresh. So. I'm excited. Our playwright is extremely intelligent, and uh, I've actually seen two of these performances or, or two of these pieces already performed. So, the fact that I now get to design them is going to be cool. But um, but I actually was sitting here earlier, and I had come up with a couple ideas on what I want to do. So I'm going to sit here after I finish up this this vidcast and actually work a little bit on those sketches because we're going to be doing some projection work, which I'm really excited about. Um, and just kind of have some fun with it. Um, send to Photoshop. I'm going to click that button and just see what happens. I don't know what happens when you click send to something because obviously my, my iPad is not connected to my computer because my computer is a PC. But if I open up Photoshop, just out of curiosity, uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to, I'm going to share my my regular screen for you real quick. Uh, I think that's it right there. There we go. So this is my Photoshop CC. And uh, I don't know. Uh, this is import maybe? No, 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 no. So and this is this is one of those things that you know, you can you can export it. Um, but how do you bring it? in you know what i think that's what i'm gonna i'm gonna look at i'm gonna see if i can't figure that out and actually uh, show you guys next week how to do that because obviously there has to be a way um, if you're a creative cloud member there has to be a way uh, the other thing that it may need maybe maybe if i open up my creative cloud uh, let's see let's see if it's in here because it said send to Photoshop. I have my Photoshop open. And my Creative Cloud's going to take forever to load. I apologize. Oh, are you guys actually seeing this? I just really. Oh, it's all covered up. Um, well, that's good. My Creative Cloud is, is being a butt, apparently. Ooh. I apologize for that loud beep. Uh, apparently there's an update, so I can't show you right now. So what I will do is next week, uh, as part of next week's video, uh, I will show you how that works. Ooh. So you get a beep and you get a sneeze. I'm a pro this week. Uh, so next week, I, and I'm not going to edit any of that out. Why? Because you get to see me all natural. Mmm, tasty. So next week I will show you exactly what happens when you do do the um, send to Photoshop because I think that'll be interesting, especially if you're somebody like me who sometimes will sit at my desk with my iPad and sketch because it's almost just as fun as working with my Intos Pro. All right, I think that's about it for this week. I do want to remind you to stop by the website one last time, thetheaterprofessor.com. Visit it, enjoy it. Uh, if uh, if you have any questions, you let me know. Send me some feedback via the website or my email, which is readily available on the website. And let me know, you know, if you're running into problems or if you have any questions. I am here to help you because that's what I like to do. I'm a teacher in, you know, in I guess real life. This is real life too, but I'm a teacher in real life, and so I like helping people out when they're trying to figure things out. All right. My name is Terry Dana Jakimak II, and I am the theater professor.